Hmm. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we are going to review my trade um, today, Friday. As you can see, I don't see any green on this board. It's um, yeah, it was a painful Friday. Um, yeah, down a lot, and um, this is not even fun. So let's just jump right in and take a look and see what I did wrong. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, again, uh, you, I mean, my Friday, I'm just dumbfounded. That's why you hear me just. So, Friday, guys, I usually talk about being cautious on Friday trading uh, wisely or trading cautiously um i today i just don't know i mean everything i put my hand on just kind of went against me um for some reason i i my state of mind is not um on par so i need to regroup over the weekend and uh get back at it on monday with uh focus and sharpness if the if the trade is not set up perfectly I'm not even touching it because I just felt like I rushed into a lot of trades this week. I look at the stocks that I traded. So the first one here, as you can see, where my biggest loss was was uh, UTME. So this stock, um, what happened is pre-market. Look at this. So yesterday I was watching this stock and it it went from seventy five dollars um, right here, seventy five dollars down to fourteen, um, and so. And it's a Chinese stock. So I kept looking at it. After hours, it made a little bit of move to the upside. And then pre-market, look at that. It squeezed all the way to 2140 for a high. So I had this one on my watch list. And I was um, looking that we were going to at least test that um, pre-market high. And if not, even get to $25. That's was, that was the game plan going into the trade. So right open, the thing just started um, uh, what they call barcoding didn't really give me an entry point so and this is where my day started off so if you can see right here um i waited no opportunity waited a pull back uh right here tested v wap a little bit uh pull back a little bit right here tested v wap again and so i jumped right in here just right on v wap and the reason i jumped through it is i was hoping that it would break um through that 19 and then uh, push up to 1950. From there, I just knew it was going to run and potentially get into a halt. That was what I had in mind. Um, but absolutely, the trade didn't go that way. So see right here, it goes from 19, from uh, 18, uh, 1860 or 1880, sorry, um, to that 1926, and then pull back. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to get stopped out of this this trade because I think um, at least we should go test that 21. So I I didn't have a stop loss because I was going to use my hot keys. So I let it uh, kind of like really develop. As you can see again, it kind of tested again that VWAP. I'm like, okay, develop. It break down here. I said this is just messing with me. This is not gonna go anywhere. Um, again, right here, uh, as you can see, these doges right here. I just like I again. I wanted to give this straight. Uh, a ton of opportunity to develop because I thought at least that 2140 pre-market, we should test that again. Um, just for me to sit there and watch this thing drop like a falling knife. It flushes right here and then flushes again a little bit right here. So by the time I actually got to the stock to kind of like, you know, cut my losses, the thing was already somewhere around here. Cause I, I mean, when it, it flushed here, I thought it was gonna bounce right back. And then if anything, I'll cut my loss somewhere here. Uh, but it flushes and then start pulling back again. So I, I just like, I, I had to get out of, out, of, out of the trade. So I got out of the trade and for a loss, as you can see. And um, let me see again here. I didn't want to trade this again because I got burned already. As you can see, there were not, uh, no other opportunities for the rest of the day. So um, I wasn't really happy with that. The next one that I lost money on was this one. And the funny thing is, I lost money on this trade and look at on, on this particular stock. Look at what the stock did for the entire day. This thing went, uh, I think about 52% um, before pulling back. 
And actually, I actually uh, posted this on our Discord. as like, this thing is up 52%, quietly up 52%. And um, so I took a trade here at the open. So if we go back here, if you look at this um, yesterday, it was a $1 stock, 1.3. It squeezed all the way to 1.8. So I was watching this one, and it, I traded this one yesterday after I was lost some money. And then today, I think maybe it was revenge trading. So I kept thinking, um, I'm going to get some money out of this one. So again, right here, let me zoom right in so you guys can see where I made a mistake. And and this is the part where I'm, I'm like kicking myself because if I had just stayed in this trade for a second, I would have been in a good place. So right here, let's, let's pull back right here. So first, this thing came out, pull back. Test the VWAP, pull back, test the VWAP again. So right here, I was hoping that, so this first test right here, this doji, the second candle. So if you look at stochastic right here crossing, so I'm thinking this thing is going to spike up to the upside. It spiked, immediately pulled back. So I don't want to get out. I want to give it a little bit of opportunity to develop. Pull back, pull back. It's like, man, what is this thing? Next thing I know, it flushes and then stop me out. Just for me to see this thing consolidate again, crosses VWAP, and look at that monster move. From there, it stayed above VWAP and went to a high of $2.23. And, and and this was this was awful. I mean, like I just sat there and watched this and I was so mad. Um, yeah. So again, um, I think one of the reasons is that. Um, I could just stuck to my plan because I, I knew this thing at least could go test uh, that 1819, um, but I never, because again, below VWAP, I didn't want to stay in the trade. After being burned from UTME, I was like, let me just jump out right now and see what happens. Um, so lost money there because I didn't want to stay in the trade. Um, then the other one that I traded to was Wafu. So this thing right out of the gate, as you can see here, guys, um, this is another one that I'm really pissed because right out of the gate, I didn't see this crazy move all the way up here. I didn't see that. So um, I got in this one. And again, this is a trade I never should have taken this trade because I missed this entry all the way up here. I missed that. So it pulled back. So I'm like hoping that this thing will bounce off of VWAP and I'll get in. So it bounces right here. And look at this next candle. Look at that volume. Can you see this volume, this volume right here? So this is the one that I said, okay, this thing, volume came in. So I jumped in right here. Um, I think about eight, nine point two seven or so. So I jumped in and look at what happens. It immediately turns around and flushes. And I'm seeing, like, okay, it looks like today is not my day. I should just probably pack my bags and stop trading. So Again, I just sat in the flushes. I'm like, hey, can you can you like bounce back? Nothing. It stayed a little bit below VWAP, and I cut my losses and got out. And look at it. Good thing I got out because it never even crosses VWAP again, flushes. And for the rest of the day, this thing was just trading below VWAP, which um, I don't like to see. So um, those are the three trades that I did again, guys. Um, red for the day. Um, next week, again, I, get, I need to get back to uh, the fundamentals. Um, normally, uh, little things that can impact my trading would be did I sleep well? Because I stayed up late last night. I think that does really impact me. Um, I was up late last night working on some videos until like uh, 1.30 a.m. Um, so I didn't get enough sleep. So um, then I got up in the morning. I didn't get uh, um, coffee. So again, like the little things that I do on a daily basis that I think uh, impacted me, I'm going to have to fix those next week. And then slow down. I'd rather miss out on the trade than jump in and get burned. Because I, I mean, I, these red days are not funny. I don't, I don't like them. So um, we'll see what happens. Again, I'm gonna get back at it next week. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.